top down analysis using only two time frames guys this is the video that you have been waiting for you know that missing link you know that missing something you're trading but there's something that is missing in your trading there's something that is meeting, missing in your knowledge that is all that is in this video so if you're interested make sure you watch until the end and guys i want this video to hit 10000 views once you make this video hit 10000 views i can do more you know of course you want to create i want to create this content knowing that our people watching it so i'm giving you a challenge i want you before even you watch the video i want you to post it right now on like three groups on telegram we have so many groups on on forex telegram we have facebook groups we have whatsapp group why can't you paste the link and it's easy just share the link you know imagine me i'm spending my time trying to help you make money and the only thing you can do to me in return is sharing this video so that is the challenge that we are doing and i will request you until each and every video that i post it hits 10k and i think the most views that i get in the videos in the first two three days is 4000 guys we can do better we can do better let he, let's make this video hit 10000 and make sure you like and you leave a comment so we are doing top down analysis using using two time frames i remember i used to do top down analysis and i used to do monthly weekly daily four hour then i go on and i go on and i came to realize it is confusing but when you do top down analysis only two hours so when i say top down analysis what i mean i mean you have first your higher time frame so you can choose the higher time frame that you want so you have the higher time and you have the confirmation time so the, not not the confirmation the entry time so you will choose what will be my higher time to get that trigger there's something that of course you are looking like a confirmation you know the market can confirm is a buy but yet it has not told you to enter there is a difference between being confirmed and now being told enter you can you you can get a confirmation you'll go to you to usa maybe let's say you want to go to america it has always been your dream you have the visa it is confirmed you go but it doesn't mean that you have entered america okay so being confirmed is different by entering entering is when now you're experiencing the trade you are now seeing the market running that that one is different by confirmation because something can be confirmed but still it's not the right time to enter maybe there is news being announced maybe for our still is ranging there's something that makes entry time different by confirmation time so we always use higher time frame to enter to confirm entry time we use lower time frame so it's you it's you to 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 decide so let me here say lower time so here i have lower time so here i will use it for entry it's you to decide so for instance i'm on an uptrend market is uptrend going up down buyers are in control exhaustion buyers are in control so if the market has bought like this it is evident that this market is a buy this market is a buy you can see it is creating high highs and high lows it is evident is a buy but is it the right time to hit your buy when the market is that high no you can say uh, i know it's a buy confirmation so all along i won't be looking for sell even if i see the market coming down i'll be looking for buy when the market hits here yeah, that's what i'm saying so anytime you do a top down analysis you have two things you have first to be confirmed the second thing you need now to know how to enter and that's what we are doing in this video so the strategy here i want to use it for you is at least i want you to be triggered by momentum candles momentum candles guys they speak a lot so i will use i will try to show you what do you see to trigger either an entry confirmation is easier so for confirmation either you look for an uptrend you look for downtrend you look for the structure in general or you look how the market has um, the players either buyers and selling 
For instance, if you want to know conformation of a buy or a sell, if it's a buy, you want to see an uptrend. If it is a sell, you want to see a downtrend. So for confirmation, majority of people, they don't have a problem with. Many people don't have a, a problem with confirmation. They can even confirm to you, gold will buy, but they don't know how to enter and enjoy that buy. They might enter in the morning, the wrong timing, the wrong session. You might be trading the wrong pair. Yes, you know uh, USD is weak, but you choose the wrong pair with either USD as the quote or as a base. So there are so many things that makes your trade not go through because confirmation is still not enough. Okay, guys. So for me, what I want you to know, number one, always look the trend. The trend is your friend. So if I come here, and I've opened this, this, I have opened this chart. I can tell for sure that this market is an uptrend. You see, this market is an uptrend. And I will be so ignorant to say that the, the, I will now start looking for sell because it's out of that range, that trend. Because majority of time, we might have the market that is on uptrend going up and they are, they are consistent on retracement but this time around, they insist to come to this. They, 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 they leave the first one. I have seen most cases, they leave the first one because majority of people want that, that place to be retested and they go for the second one. I have seen that. So when I start seeing sellers coming in, automatically I will tell myself, this can be a retracement that we call it a deep retracement. So I need more confirmation. And to see more confirmation, I need to see more more things to make me either jump in on a sell or start looking for buy because the retracement is over. So in such a case, on this trade, when you open your chart like this, confirmation is uptrend. That one we are not even arguing. The question is, when will I buy? When will I buy? Once now you, you are confirmed with an uptrend, I will suggest the second thing, you look for a momentum candle. And in this case can be a can be a bullish momentum or a bearish momentum. When I talk of bullish momentum, this is the highest of that of that market that has gone, and this is our current support. So you, it's like the market has ranged. Even if you see this market, it's like it has ranged. So I want you to, to check: Will the market break on on above? Will they break above with a momentum candle? Because momentum candle can tell you so much. Or will they break below? That is what I want you to understand in such a case. Because momentum, number one, it can be approaching a zone. Number two, it can be a false move by the banks. Number three, it can be uh, it can be a real liquidity because maybe when the market, when there's liquidity, the market flows. So any you have to know how to, to differentiate momentum candles. So because we have that area ranging and you're waiting for momentum candle, you already know if, and I have not said if you get a, a break above, you buy no. I have said if you get a break in that side, you will know now what next to check. Okay, guys. Now, see what happened in this trade. When we were waiting patiently, the market did a momentum candle. You can see this momentum candle, how big it is. Now, majority of people will think, oh, this market, and this is how I used to trade when I was uh, in the first, first years of trading. I would see a ranging like this, and I will think because it has broken, the market will go this direction. And I used to normally to say half is guaranteed and the other distance is not guaranteed. So I was so sure it will reach half before it reached. But this time I don't teach that way because I don't want to be ignorant. How can I be given a trap and I, and I take it because this momentum candle, it can be a trap. So I want to, to ask myself, now there's movement. Now banks are in control. Here, only retail traders were trading. Here, people were just making the market range, buyers, sellers. But here now we are seeing a movement. What can be? What can be up? What is happening? And if I try to look on my left, I am not seeing anything. And that's why I love OPT, guys. For me, uh, initially, I didn't know that when I don't have any support, you know, majority of people who are trading such a setup, they will come and identify this support. And what they will be hoping is how the market will react towards this support. But you see, we don't trade the scene. 
if you keep trading the scene, the scene is what you are seeing with your eyes at that time frame. If the if the daily gives you a momentum candle and you want another momentum candle to continue so that you can um you can say, oh, it will either reject this zone or form a double bottom or whichever way you want to trade, the market does not move like this. The market wants to move when they have created this momentum candle and then everyone sells and then they go up. And the question is, why did the market buy? Why would they give us a momentum candle yet they buy? And yet we do not have a support area. You can see a support area. And this is where, before even I make any judgment, I normally go to four hour because I have told you, I have two time frames that I always cross check every time. That is daily and four hour. So I will go to four hour and try to understand, yes, I, I have that, I have this market that has given me a red candle on the daily, but what is happening, you can see this ranging, you can't see it on daily. It is hidden and it is so, so visible on four hour, but they know majority of people will never go to four hour. They will never, because once they see on the daily, even if they see on four hour, they are not able to interpret what that uh, zone means. But you can imagine the support that you're looking on the daily here, it's printed already on the daily, on the four hour. So for me, automatically, I don't, I cannot even be thinking of sell. Remember, the market is on an uptrend. Confirmation is a buy. So why, why are they bringing a red candle to, to disrupt, to make you lose focus on where you, were con where you got confirmation at the first time? So if I go to the four hour, you can see I have a ranging market that has created support. So I'll come and say, oh my goodness, I have a support there that has been created. Can you see how clear it is? So I will come and highlight that like that because we have to check it for PC. And the reason why I find myself trading patterns, double bottom to double top, is because they are easy to trade. Why would you want to trade anything else? If it is not working, why are you trading it? Trade what is working. If this is working, allow me to trade it and I will teach everyone who is watching. And that's what I'm saying. You make these videos, at least they get 10,000 views. Don't fail to share the video at least on three, four groups on Telegram. Let even other people enjoy what you are self you're learning. You can imagine now you have a double bottom. And the rules of double bottoms are easy. Once you get a double bottom entry, we use CRB strategy. For those who don't know CRB, CRB means current resistance break. So we are using CRB strategy. Now, the first target, our target is the half. So we target half. So that is our first target. We are targeting half. And then our second target is neckline. So neckline is the second target. But before you go to the neckline, a lot of things might happen on the way. And you know, they are not there just to, when people realize, oh, why is the market buying? They will see this double bottom and they will change this direction. So you want to be early when people are not knowing what is happening. That is the time even you, you are trading with the banks. Okay. So if I go on the daily, remember majority have sold now because according to the daily, this market has broken a support and supposed to continue going down. But for me, according to four hour, I have a, a, a rejection a, a rejection zone and a support that has created first support, second support, forming a double bottom. So I'll be confidently trading a double bottom with that knowledge. And current resistance, current resistance means anywhere you have bit where the market is, where is the current resistance? Because in such a case, I have a resistance here. I have a resistance here and I have a resistance here. When I talk of current resistance, you see, when I talk of current resistance, let me show you what we normally mean. When we talk of current resistance, we can either pick this, we can either pick this, but when I talk of most current, this one becomes my answer. So for those people who have been wondering, why does she keep saying current resistance? Imagine if I tell you, mark a resistance, which one now will you mark? Between the three, which one will you mark? it will be very difficult. The reason why we say current resistance is because we know that it is difficult to just get a resistance. But when I say current, I will mark that one. 
and you wait for the entry to be broken. You can imagine immediately the market broke down. They have given you a bullish and gaff. I did a video on candlesticks. You can see the bullish and gaff has still played a key role here. Bullish and gaffs, they are very important, but this candle has broken that resistance. And guys, let me tell you, from the distance to the half, it's 128 pips. Imagine even if you're a beginner and you took this trade, you would have made 128 pips. Why are we not um, taking these opportunities, guys? Why are we not taking these opportunities? So the market started to go up, range to go up, and it has hit our TP. Now, the question is, how do we move from TP half, the halfway, TP2, to TP2, which is the neckline? So you might, you might be targeting all the way here. Remember, this market has broken half. But at the end of the day, we can have that as our double top. They can come to activate this as our double top. Can you see? So this market, yes, it has broken half, but there's so many chances to even, even when you go on the daily. So I normally tell people the hardest area now to trade is from half to neckline because majority of people now have realized, oh, the market is buying and it has bought with so many pips. It has bought with a hundred and something pips. So the market has bought with 150. Don't you think people are noticing? So when people notice and they start buying, what the banks do, they start changing the, the movement. So the banks will change the movement because majority of people have known where the market is. So for me, I will be monitoring on those zones because I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable now selling than buying because you can be buying and the market hits this zone. I will be comfortable to continue buying if the market breaks here. Remember, that big momentum candle on daily, they can still use it to bring the market down. Okay, so let's see what happens. So the, the traders are being trapped. Buyers are, are, are still trapped. Initially, I used to trade when the market breaks half. These days, if half is broken, because I don't want to, to teach my other strategy, RBV, RW, RBRC, RWC, all those strategies helps you to know what to do next. Because I used to teach half is broken, you, you trade it to the neckline. Right now, I don't use that concept because it has like 50-50 chance of winning. So you can see they are activating all the zones. So they activate. And let's observe what will happen in this chart. So once they are to activate our double top, so they have activated this, I have still to go to the daily to see, is it OPT? Why have they chosen this area? Because already a red candle has formed. And when I go to the daily time frame, you can see I do not have that support. You can see it's OPT. So I'm even looking forward for what will happen here. So remember, we had a double bottom. You are just playing with the two time frames. You're not going to five minutes. You're not going to weekly. You're not going to one hour. Is daily for our daily for our, and that's how I'm telling you you can be profitable. Now in this case, if I want to know if the cell has come in, I need to use I need to use CSB. I need to use CSB. CSB means current support break. So I'll be waiting for the my my market to form a current support, and you can see we have a current support form, and let's see what happens. The market breaks that. And if you are buying, if for me, for instance, I was buying to the neckline, you see, I would be still having profit. Half has been broken. I'll still, I would have made 82 pips, but all of those pips would have been taken out by the drawdown. But this is an exit plan. If you trade up to half and you enter half because half is breaking, this is an indication to come out of that trade because a new pattern has formed. Now, in such a case, <clears throat> Where will the market be going? The market is going back to the half, going back to the half. Now we have, it's like we are redoing the, the we are redoing again. Now those are 90 pips. Imagine now that is how you should be trading, interchanging different time frames. Imagine that how, and immediately, like it didn't even waste time. Immediately the market came back to the half. So I don't want to continue with, we, because I don't want to tell you what to do when, when the market breaks half what to do, because 
like in this trade, when you entered half and you targeted neckline, it reached because there were under, uh, other underlying circumstances that made this market hit the neckline. It hit the neckline. So if you have half information, sometimes you may feel today I entered after half to neckline. It didn't reach yesterday. I entered. What is not happening? The one that I'm sure is the, the double top to the half. If you want more information, guys, on how to trade the complete double top, you, you need just to, to come to my class because that's the only way you can learn. Now, something that was uh, started like an experiment, you don't even know what is happening. You have made 150 going up, you have made 90 going down, and you can still continue making money. So that is how I used my two hours time frame. And the, the thing is, guys, I, I would really tell you that if you if you see value in what I teach, these are people who now you have completed the videos. You know, majority of people won't complete this video, but I know there are people, there are few people who have completed this video. And that's why I chose to say it at the end of the video, because I don't want to distract those people who, number one, they don't have money. Number two, they're just haters. Number three, they don't see the value that I keep putting in these videos. So if you, you're seeing the value that I have put in these videos and if you would want more, this is my number. This is how to, to get to me. If you want one-on-one -on -one mentorship, that is a Zoom mentorship and it's open for international students, is 1500 for one month. And October slots are available because September... Um, I'm having students already that we do two classes every week, Sundays and Tuesdays. And what now it is in my course and mentorship is beyond what I'm teaching online. Online, I'm laying a foundation for those people, number one, who don't have clue about Forex, and number two, who have clue about Forex, but they don't have the money. But now you who will pay, you will have 10 profitable strategies. And in my course, we don't learn double tops, double bottoms. We don't learn these double tops because we have so much, so much information to learn during your course. So if you're interested, use the number. If you just want recorded videos, it's a thousand dollars. If you want one strategy, is a hundred dollars. Or if you don't have the money, every single day at 3 p.m., I'll be posting a video. PM, 3 p.m. Kenyan time. So you can just make a date every 3 p.m come back for new information every single day. And I'm, I'm, I'm willing to be consistent. And the only thing that can motivate me is you start making this video have 10,000 views. At least I'll be motivated even to make more videos. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you. Bye-bye.